Welcome to Cole's World of Mathematics, where math is made simple and clear. All right, in this question, we're going to take a look at kind of a unique geometry problem. I normally don't do these types of questions. I normally stick to more curriculum-based, uh, just standard, everyday type homework questions. However, from a geometry standpoint, this is like a really unique type of problem. All right, so um, this is not drawn to scale, just simply because I just randomly put this together. Okay, um, it is a square, and a point has been randomly selected in the middle of the square. And from the center, a line has been drawn to each side in such a way that it bisects the side, which makes these two parts congruent. All right, so each time. So from the center to this side, it, is, it hits at the midpoint here, making these two sides congruent. All right, other information they've given us is that the area of this right here is 20 centimeters squared, 34 centimeters squared, 52 centimeters squared, and we've got to find this space over here. Now, the trick to being able to do this is, obviously, I would like to be able to write some type of an equation and then solve for the unknown. I mean, that's the easiest way to find an unknown value. So, thinking outside the box here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the center point and I'm going to draw a line to the corner. All right, I'm also going to do it to this corner. So point there to the corner. Now, when I do that, what I have done is I've formed two triangles. All right, so I've formed a little triangle here and a little triangle here. Now, I don't know a whole lot about those triangles except the one important thing that I do know is that they have matching areas. They both have the same base because those two sides are congruent. And this is the point, or the top, peak of those triangles. So from here to here is the height. They've got the same height. If they've got the same base and the same height, then they have to have the same area. So I don't know the number or what that represents, but we can start using some variables here. So I can say this has area A and this has side uh, area A. Now what I can do is then do that same process all the way around this square. So from here, I'm going to draw from the center to the corner and then I'm going to draw from the center to this corner over here. Again, I have formed two triangles, two little triangles. So one little triangle there and then the other little triangle here. Again, they have the same base, they have the same height, so what that tells me is they have the same area. Again, don't know what that area is, but I know it's equal. So we're going to say that's area B and that's area B. Continuing around the uh, square here, we're going to do it again. So from the center to this corner and the center to this corner. All right, my two little triangles that I have just formed that have an equal area are those two triangles right there. And again, I don't know what the area is, but right now we're just going to let it represent by C. Those two both have area equivalent to C. All right, and then my last one I will do from the center to this corner and the center to this corner. All right, and then the two little triangles would be this triangle right here and this triangle over here. All right, and then now I'm up to, I need another variable, so we'll just call these areas D. All right, now if you step back now and take a look at what we've got here. Basically, I've divided this area of 20 square centimeters into two smaller triangles, this one into two smaller ones, this one into two smaller ones, and then this one also into two smaller ones, and this whole area here is what I need to know. All right, so I know if I add the area of A and B, I know it's 20. If I add the area of B and C, I know it's 34. If I add C and D, I know it's 52. If I add A and D, that's going to be what my unknown area is that I'm trying to find. Okay, so I still need an equation, all right, but if you look, I've got two A's, two B's, two C's, and two D's. And if I put these two together, A plus B, and then plus C plus D, all right, that would be using all four of the variables, A, B, C, D. And then if I do it this way and I add up A and D and B and C, I've added up all four of them. So now I've got two things that are equivalent, or I know are going to be equivalent, based on my variables. And so that's the approach we're going to take. All right, so I'm going to take A plus B, and I know that is 20. I'm going to add that to C plus 
D. Find FC plus D is 52. All right, now I need an equation, so here comes the equal sign. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now, they won't be in the same order. I'm not going to do A plus B and then C plus D, but I will have A plus B plus C plus D, but this time I'm going to pair them up into what I know what they are. So there's B plus C, and I know that's 34, and then I'm going to add to that my area of A plus D, and that's my unknown. I don't know what that is. All right, but now I basically have an equation with one unknown, so I can solve this equation. And I, don't, I could put a, a variable there if I wanted. I don't have to. All right, I can just leave the question mark there. Going ahead and adding on that left-hand side, I'm going to have a 72 is equal to 34 plus my question mark, the question mark being this area here. All right, subtracting 34 from both sides of the equation, I get 38. For the question mark. So the area right here, the area of A plus D is 38. So that'd be 38 square centimeters. All right, so actually just a nice little geometry problem that you definitely have to think outside the box. You got to pull in some algebra skills because ultimately you're writing that equation with an unknown. All right, and then you've got to be able to visually see, okay, well, where can I even start? and the forming the other triangles that would be equivalent triangles. Just a, a really nice challenging question that I thought for a change I would do a question like this. So not directly content related, but definitely, you know, a question that is worthy of a challenge. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with a friend so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.